Hi, I'm Liam, this is Pucker Films. Today we're discussing a theory I've had for a while, the idea that Peter Quill and Gamora have a child, and that more specifically, Kraglin is caring for him. Let's break down why I think this and some of the evidence to back up the idea. Firstly, let's just clear up that James Gunn has stated in a tweet that Kraglin has important stuff to do and all will eventually be revealed. Now, while I think that can be taken anywhere, I think Kraglin is never going to get his own major character arc, so I tend to think whatever he's up to has to do with something else. Q, Peter Quill and Gamora's baby. I think it will be a son, just because of the significance of fathers and sons in the Guardian series. Furthermore, I believe that Peter may not even be aware of this baby, maybe Gamora having birth in secret. Let's break down all of this and, and why I think it. Uh, my po second point, uh, we know Gamora has a significant role to play in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and unless uh, that was just a red herring or she's coming back from the dead, Gamora being dead is going to make it pretty hard for her to have a, a big and significant role, let alone anything. Well, unless the story is about Gamora's legacy. This way we can still play her in a big role, and as she has had the child in secret and given him to Kraglin to safekeep, perhaps uh, he possesses Peter's celestial genes and is a target for maybe the soon to to join Adam Warlock. It makes sense and doesn't break the timeline as of yet. Talking of timelines, this all adds up. Guardians 2 takes place straight after the first of uh, in 2014, just a few months later. The jump between Volume 2 and Infinity War is four years and most of the team look exactly the same, but maybe there's a good reason for such a time jump. We also know Gamora has spent time away from the Guardians, as she met with Nebula to talk about the Soul Stone and its map, presumably away from the rest of the team because none of them knew what she had seen. Perhaps she even found the map herself and was away for a long stretch of time, maybe even long enough to have a baby and give birth. Point number four, thematically it also makes sense. Each of the Guardians movies, Peter has lost a close family member, his mother, his father, his adopted father, and now his girlfriend. To continue the theme of family, we'd need a new member specifically related to Peter to explore, and a child, most probably a son, fits the bill. James Gunn more specifically said that Guardians is about adults who were abused as children starting to heal, and I think the completion of that cycle is by Peter accepting his past and looking into the future. I think this movie has great significance taking place in Phase 4 as well, and if you watch Just Right's video on Infinity War and Marvel's obsession with fatherhood, moving from our heroes being stuck in the past to moving on to the future makes total sense. Watch this video for a better explanation than I can ever put into words and see how this theory fits in moving past phase 3 and the overarching narrative Marvel have created. Point number 5. We know Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will end this iteration of the Guardians of the Galaxy, meaning that the team composition will be drastically different moving forward. It only makes sense that this will happen, but who will be on the team in the future is still up in the air. Having Peter have a baby and having to look after that child is a conceivable way to give his story an ending, finally deciding to return to Earth to raise his son, a calm, stable childhood, breaking the cycle of childhood abuse the story is about. Maybe his grandfather is still out there somewhere as well, who knows. Anyway guys, this is just a, a random idea theory, I have no idea how Kraglin's absence and uh, James Gunn's tweet led me to this whole theory, but I think the themes and what Guardians is about at its core is leads to this being the next step in the story. Let me know if I'm crazy or if you agree or disagree and your thoughts on the theory, and I'll see you in the next video. Then we should talk. Yeah, I don't think so. There are things out there in the universe you're better off not knowing about.